take everything that shines and anything what could drink a man's life. Come on, let's show them who fought. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Something tells me you ain't here punching tickets. Huh. Seems like we made an unplanned stop. I'd better go find out what's holding us up. Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchard. So for today what I do have in here, it is Desperados 3, a game developed by the Mimimi Productions. Yes, the symbol of these guys are a kid, a spoiled kid, kind of a Mimimi. Alright, <laughs> quite interesting name for a developer team. So these guys are not really new into the market. They were the developers behind Shadow Tactics, Blades of Shogun and also the last Twinker, City of Colors. Initially, the Desperados 1 and 2 were developed by a different team called the Spellbounds, but this, those guys went into administration and they were refunded as Black Forest Games. So looking to the requirements, you can see that uh, we are pretty much above the recommended or at the same level. For example, the CPU, they do recommend that I am the F1 X4, 12, 12 gigs of RAM, which I think it is an abuse, this doesn't really require 12 gigs. So we are above of that in that regard, but for the graphic card, it does recommend an HD. 7870. Although my experience so far with the game is that I always had a frame rate above 60 frames per second and during my test case what I got it was an average of 75 with a 1% low of 66 frames per second with a maximum of 82. Of course if you have an HD 7870 possibly the game We'll have a little bit higher frame rate, possibly not much more like 7 to 10 frames per second, which should be more comfortable. I mean, it should be more far away from the 60. We don't really know if more forward into the game there are more demanding levels where the HD 7850 might drop or not from the 60 frames per second. But uh, so far, the levels that I did try it out, these were the most demanding parts that I did encounter, never did drop from the 60 frames per second. Well, since I'm an idiot, I discovered recently that uh, when I've made this uh, recording over here that you are seeing, I forgot to show you the settings, that I, how the settings look of the game and how you can configure the settings. So I'm an idiot, in case you want to check the settings that I did use, uh, despite, uh, yes, I did use the maximum settings for 1080p, but in case you want to see how the graphical settings looks like, just check the description for uh, more details of the benchmark. There is a link there which would take you to an Excel, which will show you the print screens. I'm very sorry, I usually include the settings on the videos, I always do it. But sometimes, I, for some reason, I have so much videos and stuff to do, that I end up forgetting to sometimes to show you the settings. Uh, it's... Well, it's disappointing, I know. But yeah, that's about it. Now, now that you know about the performance, I mean 1080p maximum settings, no issues whatsoever above 60 frames per second. Now that you know that, how about the game? So Desperados 3, 
It is a game that uh, resembles a lot Commandos. This is one of the points that I've noticed immediately. I never played any of the Desperados 1 or Desperados 2. Honestly, I know Command and Conquer, but I was never very good at the game. But this game behaves exactly like Commandos. The only difference is, instead of being set in a world war, it is set in the World Wild West. And... Uh, Honestly, I was watching a little bit about the game, and this game got two awards, at the, I mean three awards, in fact. Uh, last year, Gamescom, Gamescom 2019, it was the winner of the best strategy game. And also, on the E3, it was one of the nominates for the best E3 game of the year. And I was like, what? How the hell this game can win a best game of the year? I don't know. But it was nominated, anyway. It wasn't really the best game of the year, though. But uh, it was on the run for being one of the best games of the year. Possibly on the strategy time, I don't know. And since the developers, the Mimimi Productions, are German, they were also a winner of the most wanted game of the some sort of event from Germany. So th this game received three awards and I actually do enjoy a lot of this, uh, these type of games. Usually I don't, but I, I don't know. Since I'm growing older, I'm starting to like these type of games, these strategy games that uh, allows you to lose some time to think. Um, and in fact, I actually do enjoy a lot the game. The game seems to have uh, some high level of productions. All the characters have voice acting. These small cutscenes are just fine. Uh, the voice acting, it is actually pretty good. So I think the game it is pretty okay. But what is not really okay, it is its current price. They are asking a full AAA price for this game. And I'm not saying that the game doesn't really deserve the $49.99. If you are a fan of Commandos or uh, the Ancient Desperados, I'm pretty sure this game worth the money for you. And especially since the game received a ton of awards. And I've seen some reviews on YouTube. And this game receives good scores between 7 to 9. So it, it is, in fact, according to critics, a good game. And I'm pretty sure of that. Although, that it worth forty nine ninety nine, well, that's... That's arguable, in my opinion. That's arguable. So, if you are really a fan, I think, yes. It completely nails it. And I think it... Um, I think it worth the price. Although, for any other people that want to fill their day with a new game and possibly they are looking into this game as a possibility, uh, well, possibly $49.99 it is a little bit too much. Because with that price, you can buy real great AAA titles with great high level of productions. I'm not saying that this game doesn't have that level of production, but still, I think the, the price it is, it is a little bit steep, honestly. So it might be a good idea for waiting for a sale for people that are not sure if they are going to like this game or not. But apart from that, that's the only issue for me with the game. It is its actual price. Possibly in the future it will be much more cheaper. And at that time I do recommend you to buy because the game seems pretty nice, honestly. So I think that's all that I want to talk about uh, Desperados 3. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Primed and ready. It's just fish. Is that who needs a shot? Here they come. Here they come. I can handle that, thank you. Gas trap, huh? Oh, not bad. How do you open that thing safely? You don't, Mr. Cooper. Unless you're me. Just what I had in mind. This is only temporary. I got a few tricks in here. Let's throw out the door. My thoughts exactly. You won't feel a thing. <laughs> See you in hell. Let me take it. Up we go. Understood. On my way. Let's get started. There's a lookout up on the cliff. I'll take him from here. That I want to see. Ambush right on schedule. Screw the divot company. 
Oh, I want this. Well, I'll be damned. Cold front lime special. Custom stock, custom rounds. Eyes open. go. Uh, my climbing days are behind me, Mr. Cooper. Well, we'll figure something out. Okay. Let's go. You better have a plan here. Hope you can manage this rope ladder, Mr. McCoy. I prefer Dr. McCoy. I'm sure you do. Understood. It's taken him so long. Bastard's probably hiding somewhere. Don't worry. They'll find him. Watch and learn. Kitten. Need sharpening. I got it. Eyes peeled. His friend's gonna be looking for him. Plan works. Yeah. Here they knows what she's doing. She sure does. Hurry up. Eyes on the target. Back in. No problem. It's now or never. I wouldn't worry just yet. It saved me dozens of who wants to have a look. It works very fast. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> They're gone. Like we're past Denver. <laughs> Someone's about to lose a few teeth. Sleep time now. You stay put. for the job. What's with that guy wearing the poncho? He ain't gonna move if it ain't necessary. And you know that because... Trust me, I know the type. Who needs a good killing? No. Not sure where this is going. You won't feel a thing. Ah, still warming up. I'll take that. You're heavy. Leave their boss. Needed a walk anyway. I can smell that sweet. On my way. <laughs> Where to? Let's go about this quiet. I take one, you take the other. Let's keep moving. Let's keep our distance. Search him real good, you hear? Eyes on the target. Knife will do. Shall we? Who needs a shot? <laughs> it ain't personal. Let's see what's happening. Up. I usually uh, work alone. <laughs> oh, especially. Let's go. The passengers sure could use our help. Why waste time? Let's keep going. Ambush right on schedule. Let's catch a few bandits. Sure thing. Train. Shall we continue? Straight through hell. Don't get in the way. 
That's right. Keep your head down. I won't blow it off. We'll see. There. No time wasted. You're a cold bastard, Mr. McCoy. To each his own, Mr. Cooper. 